Hi and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, we're going to give you information so you can make a better purchasing decision. On today's show, we take a close look at Volkswagen Amarok. Volkswagen's entry into this market is a good one. Thanks to United Fuel Injection, I check out a fuel pump that's going to make your diesel more economical. First thing you've got to do is remove the plug in the centre of the fuel pump at the back. OK, right down here. We check out the all-new iX35 thanks to John Hughes Hyundai. The new iX35 Series 2 Special Edition is the result of fine-tuning and perfecting. And we've got a great idea to get your car serviced thanks to City Toyota. And now people wouldn't have any excuse not to get their car serviced. It's actually quite convenient and really we're adapting to the client's changing needs. And our celebrity hitchhiker today is David Koch from Sunrise. I drive a 67 Mustang Fastback. That body shape is a work of art. So get comfortable because it's time for Zoom TV. Today we're going to look at a type of vehicle that I've owned personally for nearly two decades. Why? Well, they're versatile, practical and more or less go anywhere. I'm talking about a four-wheel drive diesel dual cab. Now they've come ahead in leaps and bounds from those early days as a tradesman ute. Today they are something else. This one is new to the market. It's the VW Amarok Ultimate. Likewise, also relatively new, is the dealership where this vehicle lives, Volkswagen Wangara. And it's the only Metro Volkswagen dealership north of the river that handles both passenger cars and commercials. Now the Amarok comes in both single and dual cab, and it boasts that it's the first units class to obtain the very important ANCAP five-star safety rating. With such things as ABS, Hill Start Assist, Hill Descend Assist, and new generation ESP. This one comes with 19 inch alloys, Vienna leather heated seats, chrome rear bumper and a six and a half inch touch screen radio with not four or five, but six speakers. Now the only downsize of owning a dual cab of any make is the size of the rear carrying capacity. But that is not a problem with the Amarok. Now check this out. There's enough room in here to actually load in two pallets. Also, there are tie down points in each corner to be able to secure that load. Now, this unit is powered by a two litre twin turbo engine, which produces 120 kilowatts of power and a very handy 400 newton metres of torque. Now, the entry is excellent and those all important seats are very comfortable. The transmission is a ZF torque converter 8-speed auto, giving the Amarok a very low, very usable crawler first gear, and 6 is overdrive. Now, no other dual cab can match that. Its fuel usage is 8.3 litres per 100 kilometres, and the interior dimensions make it the most spacious in its class, and the safety and emissions either meet or exceed those of most passenger cars. They drive and ride like any sedan. And if going off-road, you simply go into off-road mode, where the ESP system, plus the electronic diff lock, anti-slip regulation system, and ABS are all retuned for off-road conditions. Amazingly, this can be switched on at up to 100 kilometers per hour. Volkswagen's entry into this market is a good one. The engine is a perler. It can tow up to 3,000 kilos. The transmission is good and the overall appearance is acceptable. How would I put it? I think it's high, wide and handsome. A three year warranty or unlimited mileage is also a plus. When we look back in time, the humble Volkswagen Beetle was always known for a quality build and reliability. And I'm happy to say the Amarok is carrying on in that tradition. 
for a test drive, head north to Wangara Volkswagen or for more information on the ultimate dual cab, click onto zoomtv.com.au and follow the links. After the break, we catch up with the company that gives your diesel more torque, United Fuel Injection. That's next on Zoom TV. Now, I'm not very good with my hands and I'm not very mechanically minded. I know some of you are saying, yes, you are, but I'm not. So, Ken Ringrose from United Fuel Injection will be taking me through different processes. Ken, thank you very much for your time and your experience. Now, what are we going to be working on today? Okay, Aaron, what we're going to do today is teach you how to time a fuel injection pump to an engine. Okay, now, it sounds pretty hard. It can be a little bit complicated, but it is a fairly simple process. Okay, so I guess you've got the man that knows what he's doing. Check. Has the car been made safe? Is it in neutral? Correct. Is the handbrake on? Yes. Have you taken out the keys? Absolutely. Okay, the next thing we need is the tools. Now, I see them here. Is that all we need? Yes, Aaron. What you're going to need is a ratchet, a 12mm socket, an extension, open end ring spanner, dial gauge and a timing tool. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited. I'm going to get in full character and you're going to teach me how to time my fuel pump. I'm ready to go. Where do we start? Right, Aaron, what we're going to do first is get the, the engine on the top dead centre cylinder number one, which I've already done for you. OK. What we're going to do is get your eye on this side of the engine so that you can start working. First thing you're going to do is remove the plug in the centre of the fuel pump at the back. OK, right down here. Now, I know, oh. don't drop the nut, I know. You were about to tell me that, weren't you? I was going to say don't drop the washer, Aaron. Oh, oh the washer. There's a washer? There's a washer. <laughs> Be careful not to drop the washer because it will leak afterwards. OK, I don't think this one came with a washer. No, it's there. See? There it is. Next step is for you to come around to the front of the engine. OK. Turn it back approximately 30 degrees. OK, so 30 degrees anti-clockwise. 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 I reckon that's about 30 degrees. Ken, do you agree? Excellent. Now, Aaron, you need to come around to this side again and zero the gauge. Zero the gauge. So, so how do I do that? You turn the top of the gauge around until the zero is pointing at the needle. Oh, it's like an army watch. Look at that. Now you need to come around to the front of the engine. Check. Turn the engine back to top dead centre. Yes. Line the mark up with a pointer. OK, clockwise. Clockwise. OK, that's in line. Check. Right, Aaron. Now, this is a Hilux engine. They are timed to 0.75 millimetres at TDC. So you need to double check that there's stopped on that mark. 75, 0.75. Look at that, I nailed it. Excellent. Now, Aaron, if it is out, what you need to do is loosen the mounting nuts on the fuel pump and actually turn the fuel pump until it comes to 0.75 and lock them up again. OK, so I'm lucky with this one. I don't have to do that? Correct. How about I go and make us a coffee, come back and show the people when it's done? What do you reckon? Uh, no. Uh, sorry, Aaron, but you're the one who's going to be putting it back together and starting the engine up. OK. I'll go make the coffee. Great. Thanks, Ken. Ooh, there you go, job done. Now, it's always important that you know how to maintain your car and know all the small jobs, but the big jobs leave them to the professionals. Professionals like United Fuel Injection. To find out more, go to unitedfuel.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Now, I've got to go and find out from Ken what this little washer does. He did say it was important. If you're into things that fly, drive or float, listen up because we've got some fun things you might want to go to. It's quarter the size but double the fun with quarter scale remote control racing every two weeks at Henderson Speedway in WA. If you've experienced the fun of remote control cars in the past, then these things will blow you away. Get down to West Isles Quarter Scale Speedway to catch all the scale down action. Racing starts at 5pm with free entry, so it's fun for the whole family. Head to westozquarterscale.com. Western Australia gets an injection of sophistication on November 2nd when the Jaguar Car Club of WA meets for their annual show and shine. Held out in the picturesque Swan Valley at Horton's Winery, this event has something for everyone with fantastic Jag models on show, market stalls, animal farm and live music. Plus it's the 100th celebration of the Anzac Troops departure from Albany and there will be a number of returned soldiers judging on the day. Starts at 10am. The FJ Cruiser Club of Australia is coming together in a few weeks for a spectacular event of beach driving in South Australia. FJ Cruiser owners from all over the country listen up because this is going to be one super fun event. Running from Saturday 1st to Tuesday 4th of November, the FJ Cruiser Mini Summit will feature lovers of this beefy model gathering in beach shorts South Australia to share their love of the car and off-road driving. It promises to be a great event for the FJ fans and money raised goes to the Royal Children's Hospital, so get online and check it out. 
Coming up next, we check out the Hyundai iX35 thanks to John Hughes Hyundai. That's next on Zoom TV. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Today I'm taking a look at the number one small SUV on Australian roads right now. Chances are if you're in the market for a cost effective all-rounder, this particular vehicle is high on your list. Meet the all new Hyundai iX35 Series 2 SE. Yes, I know, it's a long title for a car we're all familiar with, but what does it actually mean? Well, Hyundai have been tinkering away with the iX35 in response to some criticism over the previous models, and have spent a long time figuring out ways to solve the problems and to make this one their best ever. For example, one of the main criticisms with the older iX35 models was that the ride was too sloppy and the steering was unresponsive. Well, Hyundai have listened and with the new iX35, they researched more than 12 front suspensions and 24 rear suspensions before deciding on the combination they've got in the new iX35, which they say is perfect for Australian road conditions. Hyundai have also given the iX35 a brand new electric steering processor so handling is more responsive and, of course, improved. On top of that, the special edition comes with Hyundai's new 2.0-litre GDI four-cylinder petrol engine, which is far more responsive and more economical. You're going to love it. What makes these petrol engines so different is they now feature direct fuel injection, which means greater fuel efficiency and more torque for low-end grunt in both the six-speed auto two-wheel drive or the all-wheel drive models. On the inside of the special edition, Hyundai have tweaked a few things here and there just to improve the overall presentation. Things like leather wrapped steering wheel with mounted controls, they've hidden the reversing camera in the reversing mirror, and they've even added mood lighting to the cup holders just to improve the whole experience the iX35 offers you as a driver. And I gotta say, I'm a fan. Bluetooth phone and audio streaming is standard these days in all iX35s, along with USB input, steering wheel audio controls, iPod compatibility and auxiliary input jack. Optional sat-nav is available in most models. If it's the latest technology you're after, you're going to find it right here. Now, there's a few reasons why the iX35 is just so popular. One, well they're great to drive. Two, they give you a great driving position with little to no blind spots. But three is they make a great family car because they're just so versatile. Don't believe me? Well, come on, let's take a look. The rear seats on the new iX35 Special Edition come in a 60-40 split with several different levels of recline. When the rear seats are folded down, you'll have more than enough room for the shopping, a few bikes, moving furniture, school gear, camping gear, well, you know what I'm trying to say, pretty much whatever you want to carry. You know, all in all, Hyundai have produced a very reliable and very popular SUV with the special edition iX35. And that can be put down to one thing. They actually listen to the feedback provided by their customers. Kind of makes sense. The new iX35 Series 2 Special Edition is the result of fine-tuning and perfecting. My bet is we'll be seeing a lot more of these lined up next to us in traffic. If you want to be in one, instead of looking at one, get into John Hughes. Go to johnhughes.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Mr Smith, how are you? Good, Aaron. Good. Now, what's going on? You've got me down here to the South Perth foreshore on a beautiful day with what looks like a brand new trade ute. I'm introducing you to our fourth mobile service van. I was there when you introduced me to your first mobile service van, so it must be proving popular. Yes, that's right, Aaron. So we've started off and we've actually grown that fleet quite significantly because of the demand of people wanting the mobile service. And it's important that they get their car serviced. 
That's right. So to maintain your warranty, we must service the car per the scheduled intervals. And these days, you've got a number of options. You can either traditionally come into our workshop and have that vehicle service. You can now come in and have a one hour express maintenance. So that's a one hour while you wait service. Or now we've got four vehicles on the road to come to you. And now people wouldn't have any excuse not to get their car serviced. It's actually quite convenient and really we're adapting to the client's changing needs. On the way here, I just noticed the little service light come up on the RAV that you let us drive. So uh, how about we put this guy through its paces and see if they can service the RAV in the car park over there. The good thing is I brought a friendly technician along with me, so he might be able to help us, Aaron. Well, hopefully he left his friendly FPOS machine back at work. What do you reckon? Someone did ring ahead and say it's cash only for you. <laughs>Uh, your general routine services, your, your normal uh, six monthly intervals, uh, minor repairs, that sort of thing. And I guess the best thing is you get in to meet your service technician, there's no one in the middle is there so you can kind of find out exactly from them, watch what they're doing and interact a little bit. Absolutely, people love it and they can get to go, talk to the guy who's doing the service, you can sit in your land room and watch him do it in your driveway. Okay, now uh, how do I book? Easy, 1300 City Toyota, give us a call or jump on the web, make a booking. Roscoe, how are you? Oh, good, thanks, Aaron. Is it almost done yet or not? Uh, it is almost done. Okay, before you're done, I just want to ask you a few questions. Not a problem. Okay, do you find, as a service technician that's out there every day performing these mobile services, that you're able to perform to the same level and do the same job that you would inside the service department? Absolutely. I find that everything that we need to carry out the services, we do have on board. Now, Roscoe, the ute's not that big. You wouldn't have everything you need. Well, each morning we come into work and we know what jobs we've got for the day. So we get all the parts that we need for that job, as well as a few extras, just in case we encounter any sort of unforeseen items. Okay, so a little bit of pre-planning. Absolutely, it always helps. Okay, now I pre-planned a coffee just over there. So when you're done, you reckon you could bring the keys over? Absolutely. Make customer service, city to ID number one. Now Wayne did tell you there's no cost in this, didn't he? Oh, uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> So when it comes to your next service or just a little bit of maintenance, make sure you think of the guys at City Toyota. Go to citytoyota.net.au or call 1300 City Toyota. After the break, I get to chat to Koshi. He's our celebrity hitchhiker, next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. Now I'm joined by one of my, I suppose, my heroes, a guy that I look up to, literally, especially when we just walked over here, Mr. David Koch. How are you? How are you? Good Thanks to see you. Thanks for taking the time out. Not a now, problem. I want to know where it all started. I was a finance journo and started on the Australian as a cadet. I was an accountant uh, originally and then got offered a job uh, in the media uh, doing finance reporting. Worked for BRW for a number of years uh, and then started my own business, publishing business. A specialist financial publishing business and I've always had a business family business for 30 years I've never trusted media for a living uh, <laughs> so it's always been my safety net and still is well luckily I've got modeling to back me up Dave, so. <laughs> oh, okay. now do you think 11 years ago when you got off of the job or you auditioned for the job that no, it, it, would, it would take this no it was an absolute mistake <laughs> uh, it's a it's a classic case of just being in the right place at the right time. My father always had a great saying, he said, have enough confidence to give anything a go, but if it doesn't work out, have enough confidence in yourself to go and do something else. And, and that really translates into when an opportunity comes up, don't fear it, embrace it, but also don't get stuck in something you don't like. Have that confidence to go and do something else. And I've always lived by that and, and the opportunity came up for Sunrise. I was just filling in. They noticed a difference in the ratings and said, could I do it full time? There you go, and people like it. I just take it year by year. 
It's a hair thing, you know, that yeah. <laughs> Special people are like this. Now it's time for the special questions of the Asanda Fast Five. Right. Yep. Okay, what is the first car you ever owned? Uh, was? It, it was a Volkswagen Beetle. What is your opinion of the best car ever made? I drive a, a 67 Mustang Fastback. That body shape is a work of art. Okay, well that answers the car you currently drive. Right, yeah. So you're yeah, two in the one there. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made? See, I'm old enough to remember the P76. Everyone says that. And I reckon that was the ugliest flaming car I've ever seen in my life. OK, so fi final question, and I'm, I'm itching to ha hear the answer to this. What's your biggest fear? Uh, biggest fear is, is failure. It's one of those blokey things, I think, that it's all about it, is, is trying something and failing miserably and how to get out of it. I'm one of those guys, David, that if I fail, I fail really well. <laughs> I just make it look like it was planned. <laughs> so, I'd like to thank you very, very much. I'd like to thank you for uh, entertaining my mum every morning. Oh, she loves oh, that's you very kind. and my family. But, oh, my uh, give her a hug for me. <laughs> I will. I don't tell her you said that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good on you. And we're done. Now, if you'd like to know more about today's show or any of our past shows, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. Check out all the videos about things that fly, drive and float. Now, if you belong to a club and you've got an event coming up, tell us about it. We might give it a plug on the show. We may even come along. And if you've got something cool that flies, drives or floats, we want to know about it. Make a video between one and two minutes long, upload it to YouTube, then send the link to IamAZoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You never know, you may be on the show. Until until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching and remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.